Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Chris here. We are back again, just uh, just back home here uh, at the bar. Uh, unboxed uh, this uh, particular whiskey um, at my mom and dad's house the other day. And I uh, just thought I'd show you a little closer up version of it. Uh, my brother, uh, Todd, he got this sign for me at uh, a sports show out there in Toronto. And uh, Randy, or... Um, uh, Pat uh, from the Trailer Park Boys, uh, Pat Roach, he plays uh, Randy, uh, guy with no shirt, the assistant Trailer Park supervisor, um, on the TV show, and he was there, and he was uh, nice enough to sign this bottle for me. Uh, I knew Pat and John and all the guys there, uh, Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys. I used to see them all the time on my airplane. I actually sat in the back with Pat and John, or... Pat and uh, Randy and Mr. Leahy one time on the way from Toronto, uh, Winnipeg to Toronto, and we just kind of uh, talked all the way there uh, to Toronto there just uh, on the flight when I was, um, I was in my uniform, but I was uh, uh, deadheading back to, uh, back to Toronto and uh, uh, when I was with Air Canada. So it was a, it was a fun conversation and we've had, uh, had some adventures in the past, but anyway, uh, this is the uh, Liquor Man's old dirty canadian whiskey and you see i've got my uh my uh, mustard glasses beside it uh in the in the tv show uh, a lot of times uh, there was a guy uh, that was kind of trying to be like julian and he was drinking out of a dirty old mustard glass so Ed, he looks like you julian without any muscles look at the drink ricky it's one of those old mustard glasses with the diamonds and clubs on it bubs lay off jacob all right just wheels and wheels these are not dirty old mustard glasses. These are some of my treasured possessions. They, uh, it, my grandparents used to have these. And uh, uh, it's such a fond memory for me to have these glasses. So, um, uh, yeah, I just love these old um, mustard glasses with the uh, um, card kind of stuff on it. Right, right, from the, right from the 70s. So it was really, really cool. But you can see here there's... There's uh, Ricky and Bubbles and Julian on the uh, on the um, label here to the Trailer Park Boys whiskey. Apparently, it's supposed to be hard to find. I don't know. Uh, I've never really gone looking for it because we can't get it here in Manitoba. But this is what uh, this is what Pat wrote on here for me. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. I'll see if I can find a decent light here on it here for you. There we are. It says Chris pants are coming off and uh in the tv show whenever randy would get into a fight he'd take his pants off uh, because his pants are really tight and uh um and yeah i guess he had more uh, uh more movement or whatever with his pants off so he'd be sitting there fighting in his white white underwear um it was uh it's pretty those are funny shows and you can see yeah chris pants are coming off uh randy so thanks pat for that i really appreciate it um i really want to get the rest of this bottle signed up by uh by these guys here and anyone else in the cast you know i'd love to meet um you know j rock and uh cory and trevor oh my god loved 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 cory and trevor in this tv show well you know just because these young men have little education and live in squalor doesn't entitle them to commit antisocial behavior and get away with it. There's two things my fuckers gotta know about J to the ROC, straight up, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I spin more rhymes than a lazy Susan, and I'm innocent until my guilt is proven. Peace. Represents Sunnyvale, straight the fuck up. What the hell are they doing? Are they stealing gas? What's going on, dickweeds? What's up, dude? Let's go, smokes. But uh, this is the whiskey here anyway. It's made by Dartmouth uh, Distilleries, uh, located in uh, Newfoundland. And it is distilled in Alberta and bottled in Newfoundland. So uh, taste on it, I've, I've, I've tried this before. And it's kind of, what I found was, uh, it's kind of a lighter flavored uh, tasting um, whiskey. So nothing really too heavy or harsh. Um, medium to light uh, finish on it and uh, uh, a little bit of wood, not a whole lot, but uh, more pine and citrus to, to the flavor. It's, it's not bad on its own, 
uh, but mixes really well with like you know Ryan Coke, Ryan Ginger, that kind of stuff. Um, but still not not too too bad on its own. So anyway, this is the Trailer Park Boys uh, whiskey, uh, the Liquorman's uh, Old Dirty Canadian whiskey uh, review. So. Um, if if you're a fan of the show, definitely pick it up. It's a must, absolute must have for the show. If if you do like this, and or if you just kind of like um, kind of funny looking, uh, funny looking bottles that actually taste pre uh, pretty good. So um, yeah, give it a shot. Uh, see what you think. I'd be interested in hearing what what your opinions are on it. But I really truly appreciate you guys uh, uh, watching this and subscribing to my channel. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot more of these types of reviews coming up, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So, uh, please like and subscribe. I truly appreciate that. And uh, have yourself a really, really great day. Take care. Bye-bye.